Cameo Magic presents whiteboard explanations. This video will explain systems modeling language, or SysML, in 5 minutes. SysML is a graphical language used by model-based systems engineers that utilizes diagrams and tables in order to express system information. It provides a standard set of 9 diagram types which can be used to organize and express system information. The collective diagrams when interconnected, provide a means of representing system structure, behavior, and requirements in abstracted form. SysML is an effective language because it is highly scalable. It is standardized by the Object Management Group, or OMG. It is readable due to its graphical nature. It is reusable, and it is abstractable. SysML is built off of, or an extension of, unified modeling language. UML was built by software engineers to graphically explain their code. SysML was built to handle physical systems. SysML took the already existing UML metamodel as a foundation and added capabilities. It can be seen in the Venn diagram that UML and SysML share some, but not all, diagram types. SysML has structural, behavioral, and requirement diagram types. There are a total of nine different types of SysML diagrams. Each diagram has a special and unique use. To learn more about the SysML diagrams, please check out our mini walkthrough videos on our channel. Model elements are the fundamental building blocks in a model. These elements can be units of structure, behavior, or requirement. Relationships connect elements within a model. A relationship is a linkage between two types of elements. The web of interconnected elements through relationships creates the detailed system model. As explained before, the element is the root node, or unit, in the UML and SysML languages. The class is a specific type of element used in UML. The SysML block was built from the UML class. The block is the fundamental unit of structure in SysML and is used tremendously in the language. Notice, that as we move from left to right the element types go from general to specific. Models have three distinct attributes. Model attributes include 1. Mapping to some reality 2. A reduction from that reality and 3. Pragmatic or results-driven approach Elements also have three distinct attributes. The three criteria include significance, singularity, and commonality. These attributes ensure elements are consistent, representative, neither trivially simple nor inordinately complex, and have wide application. There is an important distinction between the system model and the diagrams. Let's use a 3D physical diamond as an analogy which represents our model. Engineers would take the three-dimensional diamond and then take snapshots from different angles of the diamond. The data from the snapshots, or perspectives, would be rendered in two dimensions on a diagram. The sum of the diagrams would give the engineer the information needed to cut the diamond to spec. Unlike the diamond, the system model is more than three dimensions. Therefore, we cannot actually see the model. We can only view the diagrams. The aggregation of the diagrams will allow the engineers to understand the highly complex multidimensional model. Model-based systems engineers have a duty to determine the appropriate level of fidelity to be acceptable for aspects of the system model. Adding more refinement is not always the best path forward. Determining the Goldilocks level of abstraction is a balancing act. More on the same topic, modelers need to be careful not to lose the forest to the trees. System architects need to design the system in such a way that it is lovely and not weird. They should focus on simplification and creating a model which is intuitive to a model reader who has never seen the model. As Albert Einstein said, everything should be made as simple as possible, but not simpler. It is important that practitioners select a common methodology, language, and tool. Some examples of MBSE tools include Cameo Enterprise Architecture, Cameo Systems Modeler, MagicDraw, Rhapsody, Sparks Enterprise Architect, Capella, Genesis, Papyrus, and Visual Paradigm. Each of the softwares just listed support systems modeling language or SysML. Some commonly used methodologies include Magic Grid, OOSEM, Harmony, and SysMod. Let's look at the key components of the methodology and tool in more detail. Methodology key components include selection of a modeling language and software tool, processes and guidelines to follow while modeling, the ability to collaborate effectively with other disciplines, a method to manage requirements, a method to manage the configuration, an approach which lasts the entire system lifecycle, and ample training and educational resources available. Tool key components include capability to create, visualize, and simulate the model, method to manage requirements, ability to collaborate, means to generate documents, and capacity to interconnect with other softwares. Now let's mention the digital thread. Because systems engineers are responsible for the centralization and standardization of information, they are responsible for extending the digital thread. The digital thread is the connection and exchange of data between software tools of different disciplines. This digital thread is hosted in a digital engineering environment, also called a digital engineering ecosystem. Please consider watching our other videos on similar topics which includes Digital Transformation, Digital Engineering, Digital Engineering Environment, MBSE, and Digital Thread. Check the description below for links to the other videos. Thanks for tuning in and we hope you enjoyed the content.